Hello and welcome guys to yet another solution of a DI question. This is a question related to probability. The idea here is to solve the question by visualizing and by sticking to our basics and not try to use many formulas because they can be confusing at times and in exam environment, the more you solve questions by first principles, the better the chances are of getting it right confidently. Moving on with the question. At the end of your party for the employees of a certain company, Martha has been given an opportunity to win as many as two prizes. Okay. She can win at max. She can win one prize or at max. She can win two prizes. Understood. She must draw at random exactly one numbered card from each of two boxes. There are two boxes. Okay. Each of which in turn contains exactly six card. Okay. There are six cards numbered one to six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And similarly, here the cards are okay. If the sum of the two numbers is equal to eight, then Martha will win a tablet. Okay. If the sum of say box one, box two, B1 plus B2 is eight, she gets a tablet. Okay. And if at least one of the two number is two, then she wins a smartphone. Okay. Uh, okay. One of the number is two. So basically she picks two from here, two from here or both to some sort of that thing will happen. She will win a smartphone. Okay. Select the probability that Martha will win a tablet computer. Okay. And select the probability that Martha will win both the prizes. Okay. Both the prizes. So basically tablet and also smartphone. Okay. So basic inference you could take out that say, for example, there are total of 10 cases possible. The probability of winning a tablet computer is say 4 of 10. So we can be sure that probability of winning tablet and also smartphone will be less than 4 by 10. It cannot be more than 4 by 10. This is a very small inference that you should understand. Say for example, here are the chances of winning tablet. Now the chances of winning both has to be in this limit because you are if winning both then you are winning tablet obviously right so your chances has to be less than this it can be equal to this but it has it cannot be greater than this it cannot lie in this area so this is a small inference that we should always try and take out to keep our mind sharp while solving such questions so here we'll just simply go by first principle create a basic a table one two three four five six these are the possible outcomes from box one From box two, again, we have these possible choices. So basically we have 36 possible com uh, combinations. This is our box one. This is our box two. So six options here, six options here. We have a total of 36 options. So the denominator will be 36. Now let's talk about our numerator. What would it be? What is our first condition? The number sum should be equal to eight. So where all the number sum would be 8, 6 and 2, 8, 3 and 5, 8, 4 and 4, 8, 3 and 5, 8, 6 and 2, 8. So basically there are 5 ways in which the sum would be 8. So we have our numerator 5 by 36. So yeah, for tablet we have 5 by 36. Now both the prizes, where would she win a smartphone if one of the number contains 2? So 2 is contained here. Where else do we have 2? We have 2 here. So this becomes just 2 by 36. That simplifies to 1 by 18. Right? So we have an option 1 by 18 here. So yeah. So my biggest takeaway from this question is try to solve questions from first principles. Uh, the idea is to visualize what is happening and to try and grasp it in form of a table or anything that is very simple for you because the idea is we need not complicate our solutions during exam so that uh, we are not confident about our solutions hope it helps thank you